In this Python NiceGUI tutorial, we will make a web application with a video element. The video element can be controlled with three buttons. In the video I will show step by step how to do the application. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. First, I will create a label element. I am sending the text value to the label function. I save the code file and run it. I added the label element to the web page. Now I will add a video element. I am creating a variable. I will use this video in practice. You can access the video from the GitHub link in the description of the video. I send the name of the MP4 file to the video function. I am saving the code file. I added the video element to the web page. I will reduce the size of the video. I can do this using the classes function. I am saving the code file. I reduced the size of the video. I will add a play button to the application. I set its color and name. I am saving the code file. I added the button to the website. I'll add an emoji to the play button. You can access all emojis on this website. I will add the site to the description section of the video. I'm looking for the play circle emoji. I can use the text here in the icon property. I am defining an icon. I am saving the code file. I added the play circle icon to the play button. I want the video to start when the button is clicked. I can do this using the on click feature. I use the play function. I am saving the code file. When I click the button, the video plays. I will create a button for pause. I set the button name and color. I am saving the code file. I added the pause button to the web page. I will add the pause circle icon to the button. I search to find out the keyword. I define an icon for the pause button. I use the pause function in the on click feature. I am saving the code file. I'm testing the buttons. The buttons work as I want. I will add one more button. When I click on the button, I want it to go to the fifth second of the video. I can do this using the on click feature. I send the value 5 to the seek function. I am saving the code file. I test all the buttons in order. It all works as I want. I want to position the button side by side. I can do this using the row function. I add the buttons to the row function. I am saving the code file. I position the button side by side. I test the buttons in order. The buttons work as I want. In this video, we learned how to use the video element. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.